Spine fusion surgery is one of the common surgical procedure I do as a neurosurgeon. Often spinal fusion procedure is an add-on procedure done as a part of other procedures on your spine. This fusion procedure has definite indications in backbone diseases. Let's explore spinal fusion procedures in this video. Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Arun Naik, a doctor for 30 years and a neurosurgeon for 20 years now. Dialogue with your doctor is called a doc log. In this channel, we have doc logs related to brain and heart health, lifestyle diseases, cancer, spine health and preventive health. We also give here simple effective tips and tricks to put you on the positive side of your health. Everything told in this video can be found in the description box below. Check out if you need more info. Fusion is a process or result of joining two or more things together to form a single entity. Similarly, spinal fusion is also done to join two unstable bones to make them one single bone. This is done to eliminate painful motions between the two vertebral bones or to restore stability to the spine. Friends, spine surgery is usually not recommended until you are treated with appropriate medications, physiotherapy or other modalities. In my practice as neurosurgeon, only 5% of back bone issues need any surgical interventions. 95% of the patients are relieved of their pain with medications and lifestyle changes alone. So spinal surgery is not spinal fusion surgery and spinal fusion surgery is not always done in every spinal disease. There are definite indications for adding fusion to your spine surgery. Generally, it is a basic procedure like microdiscectomy and laminectomy which is done and fusion is added as an add-on procedure. Your surgeon should discuss with you the need for a fusion surgery. Fusion surgery is more invasive and irreversible. Now, what are the indications for spinal fusion procedures? As I said, only indication to add spinal fusion procedure is to add stability to the backbone. So, instability is the main indication for surgery. When we assess any patient for spinal surgery, we make sure that there is no instability of spinal bones. Well, when there is instability, we have to add fusion procedure to our main intervention. If not, instability will proceed and the surgery eventually fails. Patient has to go for a fusion surgery in the future. If there is no instability, it is highly unlikely that your surgeon will seek a fusion. Fusion surgery is done in cases like spondylolisthesis, fractured vertebrae and scoliosis as a mandatory procedure and as an optional add-on in cases of spine stenosis, spinal infection, herniated discs or spine tumor. Fusion will definitely take away some spinal flexibility but most spinal fusions involve only one or two segments of the spine and do not limit motion very much. The majority of patients will not notice a decrease in their range of motion of their backbone. Lumbar and cervical fusion are established procedures done very routinely. There are several different techniques that are used to fuse the spine. Then there are different approaches or corridors your surgeon can take to reach your spine. When we approach your spine from the front, this is called an anterior approach and requires an incision or opening in the lower abdomen for a low back fusion or in the front of the neck for a neck bone fusion. Commonest procedure done is through back of your spine and this is called a posterior approach. We also do surgery from your side of the spine and this is called a lateral approach. 
These days I perform what is called a minimal invasive spine surgery or MIS procedure. This is done through a small incision and is very safe. I also use several artificial bone forming agents to strengthen the fusion further. In many cases we will use plates, screws and rods to help hold the two bones together. What is a spinal immobilization? After fusion procedure, the vertebrae need to be held together to help the fusion process. A brace is to be worn for a few weeks after the surgery. Now what are the complications of spinal fusion surgery? Friends, as with any surgery on the body, there are risks associated with spinal fusion procedure also. Infection and bleeding are uncommon these days. Very rarely there may be some nerve damage. Sometimes a blood clot may form in the leg veins and cause problem to your heart and lungs. The fusion process takes time. It may be several months before the bones are fused, although your pain will improve much faster. During this healing time, the fused spine must be kept in proper alignment. You have to wear some spinal braces for a few months. You will be taught how to move properly, sit, stand and walk. You can join work in about a month. I advise not to drive for three months after a fusion procedure. Smokers should stop smoking for one month before the surgery and six months after the surgery to facilitate the healing of the bones. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle and regular spine exercises will greatly increase your chances for a successful outcome from a spinal fusion procedure. With that friends, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you like the content presented. If you liked, give me a thumbs up and share this video with your dear and near ones to put them also on the positive side of their health. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to Doc Loves. Hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Do let me know which topics you would like to watch here. I'll be back with another interesting Doc Log very soon. Till then, feel awesome, live awesome and take good care of your health.